and welcome back to Chicken Star Rockets YouTube channel. My name is Claudia. Today we're playing a new game called Detective Grimoire. I just got this game this week. Um, well, not the time of recording this. Well, um, not the time of you watching this, but the time of recording this. I got this game last week. This was a game recommended to all of us viewers of the Game Maker's Toolkit, Toolkit, Mark Brown, and he is fantastic at bringing about great games to play. This is a, um, sorry, I am... I am mind blank in here so hard. Um, this is a game, a, a detective game, and I'm very excited because it's supposed to be like. Woo! Well, I hope you can hear it because I can hear it great. Um, long ago, in a swamp, an Armor Games production, an original score by Raphael Benjamin Meyer, programming development by Tom Vian. Art to design by Adam Vian. Oh, are you guys siblings? Backgrounds by Catherine Unger. Starring Edwin Tiona's Grimoire. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen. 25 last night, a murder occurred in a remote part of this swamp. A oh, small right. tourist attraction deep within the heart of the marsh. Hold on. A tourist attraction? Here? I guess. I don't get it. Why would anyone come here by choice? I've explained this already. This area is famous. There's what? Thanks. All I read was that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago. Oof. Get your facts Shit. straight for once. We're talking about a creature that's lived in this swamp for over 60 years. Okay, so it's a 60 year old. <laughs> I still don't see what matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. That creature is our prime suspect. Murder suspect? That's right. the murder this suspect? Is no Loch Ness monster. You need to be taking this seriously. Oh no. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? You've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As usual, we only Sorry, have the very central at this point. Oh boy. Uh, I'll be down in just a second. I'm just filling up some water. I forgot to do that before starting to record. My bad. Um. So, this is really interesting so far. Also, I'm really thankful for the voice acting lines, line because, uh, you know, homegirl, she's got a, your homegirl's got a female voice and a female pitch to go along with that female voice. And I can't do male voices super well. If you wanted to watch me try, go watch my Frog Detective Let's Play. It's... Okay, all right. Richard Remington, founder of tourist attractions Boggy's Bog, was found dead outside his office at 2045 last night. Okay, what time is that? <laughs> okay, so there's 12, sorry, one. There's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, six, seven, eight o'clock at night, all right. Exact cause of death is unknown. Three small wounds to the chest suggest an attack from a clawed creature. Slime around the wound and footprints found at the scene suggest the culprit was Boggy, the legendary swamp creature. Any of the seven other people present in the swamp last night could hold vital information. Oh, so we have a picture of our dead guy, Boggy's Bog. We have our three claw marks in the, the tracks, the creature. Ah. And the suspect. Gorgeous. Our murder victim, Richard Remington, he was in charge of this, uh, tourist attraction. Yep. Boggy's Bog? <laughs> what a name. Boggy is the name of our creature. Well, nowadays it is. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. That... Thing is our murder suspect? There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character, I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. Also, I don't know what you're having. Um, I normally eat food during these because, you know, multitasking is a passion of mine. But I really enjoy eating while, while recording, so I'd love to hear what you're having. Chapter 1, A Swamp Full of Secrets. I'm so glad you got rid of the hat. You look so much cuter this way. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm having them Oreos, because even though this comes out at 7.30, that's not when I'm recording this. It's evening where I'm for the time of recording. Your case file is in the top right. Okay. You can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. Where? 
Oh, there. Yeah. Okay. When you've collected some, of course. Oh, buddy. Come back here, and I'll help you. Who says I'm gonna need your help? I'm a strong, independent detective who don't need no man. Wow, he didn't get lost yet. No, I. Well, I only just got here. Who are you? You don't remember. <laughs> what? Of course, you're not great at remembering. I should be offended, though. I remember you, but I've been trying to forget. <laughs> That's so mean. I've never heard of you before. You're that weird girl from the fairgrounds. Let's go with that one, because at least then we can at least pretend to remember her. Even though me as a clear player clearly doesn't remember this little girl, and I don't want to insult her because then she might not give us information. You're that weird girl from the fairground. Don't call her weird. You must be slow if it wouldn't even wait for you. Well, if you let me, I'd better go after her. You can wait here and be You'll get lost. I would never forgive myself if I let you go through without a map. You have a map of the swamp? <laughs> Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should wow. really stay here. It's dangerous. There's been a murder. Though I suppose you know all about it already? They're saying it was the creature. But it can't be him. He doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. Nope. He's a different sort of creature. What is that wait, supposed to mean? What do you mean? Hmm. It disappeared. Okay, so they totally, I don't know if you all noticed this, but they totally made the joke of, it's dangerous to go alone, take this! And instead, they made like an anti-version of that joke. Also, if you hear jingle bells in the background, say hi, Bee! In the comments below. Hi, Bee! I'm gonna get to hear you on camera. Hi, Bee! She's shy. Forgive her, she's, she's cute, but she's shy. She was a cute little girl. Don't do that. Um, can I observe? Oh, that's just my settings. That's not what I wanted to do. I want... Okay, so this is the map of the place we're about to go. I don't want to walk. I want to click on As an opportunity for a photographic narrative. <gasps> can I? The two characters are an explorer and Boggy himself. Are they... fighting? No. I still don't quite understand why we have a tourist attraction here. Don't forget to use walk mode to move. Uh, no, I believe they are hugging it out. It's an old statue of Boggy. His feet are hidden in a bucket of murky water. Hell. All right, let's go inside. Just my luck, the gate's closed. No excuses. Like these middle latches around. I should just have to slide at least one of them out of the bottom of the lock. Then I'll be able to get through this gate. Probably. Oh, I'm throwing these puzzles. Okay. Right? Come here, buddy. Woo! Hey, nice. I might get one of these from my office. Do you want to do a puzzle every time you walk into your office? Not convenient if you're gonna get this murdered. Is a tourist attraction? Yep. The whole thing just doesn't make sense to me. My dude, have you ever heard of the phrase different strokes for different folks? Seriously. Let's do some thinking. Ooh. Drag any two stray thoughts into those slots at the bottom. So this is what Mark Brown talked about when he talked about this game, and I don't remember how long ago, but Essentially, this is the mechanic, the main mechanic of the game for how you logic your way through this. There's no cheating, or at least you have to really pay attention when you're playing this game. So, it's not like Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney where you have to like present the right item, or, and it's not quite like the Sherlock Holmes game where you have to, made by Frogware in Unreal Engine, where you have to like piece together the pieces or solve more puzzles. This is literally like logic, re logical reasoning. I don't know if any of you had to ever do that in math class. It's like a grid system, it feels like. And flip through the connectings to make a sentence. Tap the confirm button to try it. I just have to flip and reach Boggy's bog. Seems like the middle of nowhere. Okay, so. It's far too remote for, it's too stupid for, it's way too big for, isn't warm enough for. Um. Uh, Okay, so some of these won't make sense. So like the murderer, 
It's far too remote for my beard. Would not make sense. It's far too remote for Officer James. That might make sense. Um, I can also see the tourist attraction working for Officer James. Um, is bye, B. Um, that little girl is too stupid for my hat. That the is too way too big for. Well, that little girl is way too big for my hat. No, that would be. Isn't warm enough for my hat. So my hat's probably not the option. Um, the tourist attraction is far too remote for my hat. It's too stupid for my hat. It's way too big for my hat. I would say it's probably going to be Officer James. I'm going to say it's far too remote for him. A tourist him. attraction is far too remote for Officer James to have happened. Yeah. Oops, sorry. The tourist attraction is far too remote for Officer James to make any money, possibly. The tourist attraction is far too remote for Officer James to make any money. What is that supposed to be? So I didn't get it right. So maybe it's the murderer. Wait, can I drag these? Oh, I can. Okay. So you can drag these across too. So the murderer was the guy who owned this place, right? So my hat is way too big for that little girl. To have happened. No. The murder. Mm. The swamp is way. Isn't. Is far too remote for. The murder to. That doesn't make sense because the murder did happen. Hmm. I'm stuck. Are there any hints that you can get? Let's see. Um, well, this is gonna bode well for the rest of the game, don't you? Can't you see? Um, am I just stupid? Probably. Honestly. Well, you know me. Can't make it through a game without a walkthrough. Um, so, we're working on that. I encourage you. Please yell, please don't yell at me about how stupid I am in the comments, please, let's, let's be nice here. see like the case file no okay boggy's bog is seems like the middle of nowhere so maybe the swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money the swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money oh hey i was expecting That's to get that really right me. but again what's the story behind this place Maybe it's known for like crocodiles or something. I don't know. Let's let's check out. There's a hole part of the tree, uh, right at the front, but it's too dark to see inside. Just for the record, I figured that out without the walkthrough's help. I I was like, oh, I reread that and figured it out. Um. It, it's a fork in the road. How non-linear. Ah, another game development joke. I don't know why I did that. It's a four. Okay, left or right? We're going left. A rather prominent tree stump looming over the wooden pathway. It's hard to ignore. Protest? These flower petals seem a little out of place, lying on the ground over there. It's memorial. For the dead, probably. I. I did not. I. Okay, you told me it was west, so we're going west, buddy. There's a narrow path here leading up that hill and through the trees. Okay. It doesn't look inviting. I'm not sure it's part of the tourist attraction. No, but it's big enough for a small child to fit through. So, you know. 
Oh, that looks like we're gonna get murdered. We're going oh, back. Should visit the... But it looks like we're gonna get murdered. So, this is where they found Remington's body. Let's get it started and ha! Let's get it started in here. All right, sorry. Um, this is oh. A map of the tourist attractions Boggy's Bog, generously donated by the mysterious little girl at the entrance. When I'm exploring the swamp, I can access my map from the map button in the corner. Okay. I have a map. Not much else. Cool. We found a body. I don't like it here. Me neither, my dude. It looks like we're gonna get murdered. Stop right by these reeds. Probably because it was a cover-up. Maybe I should take a closer look. Sure. Or maybe I can move some of them out of the way. They were shoes the whole time. Green flippers, badly hidden in the reeds outside the office. See, we're gonna collect. I'm guessing that over the course of this game, we're gonna collect parts of a costume, and that's what's gonna be proven to have been used in this incident. But that's just strange green flippers. Who let these lying around? And back down into those reeds by the water. I definitely did not read that. I should probably read it. <laughs> clues? What are my clues? I have police file. Well, hope it wasn't on important. You guys will know. What's that? Suspects? What does the red mean? I don't know if I like that. Notes. That's probably what I'm looking for. There are three toad footprints leaning up into the back office of the water. Remington's body was found on one place outside of his office. So I come back. Oh, I can look at all the places I've been. Okay. So I need to go back to the protest and find the other two clues. But I don't know if I was supposed to see anything there. Okay. That's also like a nice check-in to make sure that, you know, I'm not missing anything and I'm not going crazy. There are the and back to There's an open window above Remington's body. Yeah, he might have been pushed out there. It, I don't think I Yeah, I don't want to go in there with either I buddy. I can't get in here without a key. Maybe if I get desperate later on. I need a key for this. Malarkey. Okay, so I found, we're in the outside office, I got all the clues here. Um, will you let me, hi B! <gasps> hi B! I don't know if y'all can hear that, but B is very, being very talkative right now. Ah, uh, I can't, maybe if I can. Hi B! Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> suspects. Let's get this investigation started. Yes, let me- oh man, y'all are interested in people. Uh -huh. Let me talk to you first. Alright, let's see. Let us suspect for my mother. <laughs> That's a little rude. No, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, did I say that bit out loud? Maybe not. Maybe I can hear your thoughts. So would you sure. be able to answer my questions before I asked you? Sure. Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? I can try. I'm Bobby Burl, professional cameraman. Pleased to meet you. I'm Detective Grimoire. I'm here to investigate last night's murder. Uh, obviously. Grimoire. Strange. Is that your first name? Um, is Grimoire my first name? Probably not. That's too sassy. That's dumb. I'm a logical person, but I feel like this guy's kind of teasing us a little bit. I would like to say this it's one. It's my second name. Detective is my first name. Um, okay. What are we doing here? This kind of feels like the chain sequence in Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, which I know that's not, this is not the same game in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but it kind of like, it has elements of that. Let's talk about so your job. you already told me what you do, but now... I go where I'm needed. Vincent wanted to come to the swamp, and I was happy to help. Who's Vincent? Vincent Vandepeer. You mean that man standing on that rock over there? That's right. I've worked with him for many years. Ew. Is he your boss? Oh, I don't know about that. We work together. He's tried to film here before, but he never got permission until about a week ago. 
Oh, really? But why did you want to come here in the first place? If you're looking for a reason to write down in your notebook, I'm sure he can tell you if you ask him. I'm just the guy who carries around the camera. You always carry that camera with you? Most of the time. Huh. Okay, last night. You were here yesterday, I presume? Last night? Yes, I was. Uh, here, in this clearing? No, I was over at the cafe getting something to eat. Richard Remington was there too. Remington? You saw him last night? Uh, just before the murder? That's right, I saw him. He left the cafe looking rather ill. I offered to help, but he just wanted to go back to his office. He looked like he had a lot on his mind. He was ill yesterday? Perhaps it was something he ate. That sounds like poison to me, but okay. Um, Flippers, what you know? Some evidence from last night's murder? No, definitely not. I don't really know any. What do you, you think? You should ask him? someone else. All right. What do you think about Try him? Showing it to somebody different. Fine. Um, I don't have enough on you to really open up these. So we're gonna talk to your boss. Yes, oh boy. Do you have a message for me? <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm incredibly busy. I believe it. Who are you anyway? What a question. You're serious? Yeah. I am Vincent Vanderpeer. Wow. The famous movie director? The artist, the visionary, the auteur. Mm. I'm a man of many talents. Mm. I'm gonna go to the first one. Seems like you got a lot of sense of humor, buddy. That's great. Let's hope you have a talent for answering my questions. You're in my light. Could you take a few steps back, please? Ah, so but you're then I'll be not too a nice far boy. Away to talk to you. I know. Can anyone just walk in here and start filming? This is from a different game. This is from, um... Game Grumps put an episode of that, and it's like essentially where you... I play as a ghost and your goal is to spook people. I wonder if they made this this game and that game. Very cool. Um Vincent Vanderpeer Forrest Richard Remington. Vincent Vanderpeer forced Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. Ooh, that's nearly right. Can Vanderpeer just do whatever he wants? I'm wondering. Okay, so he's the muscle Bobby relationship. Bobby forced Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. No, that doesn't make. Okay. Vincent Vanderpeer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder if Mr. Vanderpeer has been breaking rules. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. Okay. This area is kind of empty. So I come here. Is it here? No. It was, um, notes. It was in our notes. We're in the clearing. And there's still only one thing here. Okay. So we could technically be done talking here if we wanted to be. What's a famous yeah. guy like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> quite, quite. I'm sure you're thinking, why doesn't he send an assistant? But that's not the way this director works. But what are you doing? I'm feeling, I'm experiencing, I'm discovering this area, mm, the history, the okay. atmosphere. It's the perfect setting for my next film. Do you specialize I'm in horror movies? Scouting mission to get to know this swamp before I begin work on the latest masterpiece in a string of masterpieces. You're making a movie about Bonk? About the swamp creature? Of course. He's a fascinating individual, isn't he? So mysterious. No idea. I haven't met him yet. Uh, is that your cameraman over there? Yes, that's right. Bobby Burl, my faithful right-hand man. Well, faithful enough, you know. No, I don't know. He's an expert cameraman. Really knows his trade, of course. 
but he gets a bit muddled when it comes to priorities. Like what that. does that mean? He means he's lazy? He doesn't look lazy. Unless he gets here. Oh no, nothing of the sort. He just has a little hobby that sometimes distracts him from his work. Oh, okay, can't wait to ask about that. Anyone else shooting for me? Um, let's talk about last night. Yesterday? Uh, here in the swamp, I mean. Indeed, I was working very hard indeed. Well into the night. Hmm, hard work is it? Getting to know the swamp? Few chest. But yesterday I was getting even more involved than usual. Yes, difficult to comprehend, I know. So, what kind of work were you doing? Well, I was uh, unable to find my faithful cameraman last night. He had hidden himself quite completely from view. He said he was in the cafe. I, did you need him to film for you? Always. But being a resourceful type of man, I stepped up and took on the responsibility myself. I was filming in this exact area, in fact. You were filming? Last night? Here? Yes. At the time of the murder, I believe. But wait, I know what you're thinking. Now, don't forget, I'm not here to shoot some experimental documentary. I have no interest in late-night surveillance footage. No, but I'd Did like to see, see that. anything at all? What is it you were filming? The water. I was filming the water. It's a fascinating subject, one that has me captivated to the point where so, I... So, you didn't see anything useful? Inside there, wasn't it? Nothing useful to you, my good detective. But there are some odd sounds on the audio track. That's what I thought. Like wild animals going about their nighttime rituals. No. Actually. Is there something I should ask the cameraman? Um. Burrow doesn't explain why Vincent Van de Peer came to the swamp in the first place. Uh, my clues doesn't explain why. No, I think that it does. Um, he was in the cafe, but we haven't talked to very many people, so I can't really confirm his story. My clues doesn't explain why Bobby Burrow was nowhere to be found last night. I'm losing. Maybe Bobby Burrow needs to do a little explaining. Vincent Van de Peer doesn't explain why Bobby Burrow was nowhere to be found last night. Ooh, that's... Vincent Van de Peer told me okay, that, that was right. Sorry, Burrow I had to focus there for a good long second because I had to make sure that I had enough? this right. What was Mr. Burrow doing last night that meant he couldn't help out his boss? Uh, you know? I don't know if it's any use to you at all. Give I'll it. film again tonight and try to get a version without all those bizarre Nope, noises. I want the bizarre background noises, which is not something I never thought I'd say. Um... He's been working with me for a number of years. A real expert, of course. Okay. Ah, yes. The reason we're all here, of course. Of course. Not me. Isn't he your prime suspect? No. Well, officially, yeah, but I mean... <laughs> what an amazing creature! No. No one has seen him for 60 years and he still manages to get accused of murder. Incredible. Incredible. Now there's a man who could handle himself. I'm not so sure. Well, apart He's from He's dead. That was just a one-off, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. Uh, for him, I think so, yes. Um, alright. Oh. Footage recorded last night at the exact time of the murder. Filmed by Vincent Vanderpeer in the clearing on the west side of the swamp near the crime scene. There is nothing to see, but the various clues can be heard on the audio trip listener. Listen to them in order. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Cree. Outcry. Uh, no. Cree. Outcry. Ricky. No. Cree. Outcry. Blast. Claim. Goodness gracious. Alright, I'm gonna need a, pee, a pen and paper for this one. Alright, um. Something the right way, something the right on is always gonna be useful for this kind of game. Uh, I should have read it up before I started filming, but you know, I think we've proven that. Alright, so there's. Blast. There's ripping. There's creek. Clang. Bud. Outcry. Outcry. Cling. Okay, so it should be creaking. Creak. Um, okay, so I need a different pen to kind of mark where this what I'm doing here. Alright, it's orange one, so it's the creaking. First, oh. outcry. Second. Oh. oh, that's so nice. No. Last third. Claim four. Oh. Outcry five. No, no. Ripping six, bud seven, playing eight. Okay, ready? Y'all ready for this? Bum, 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 bum. Okay. How you feeling? Very frightened. Oh. Are you sorry? Are you kidding? Five, six, seven. Okay, those are the sounds in order. Interesting things going on here. Film for Vincent's the work, I see. I'm glad he knows how to use the cap. Yep, he does. You're so good. What at this. do you think all those noises? Well, judging by the time this was recorded, excuse me. Able to make a pretty good guess. <laughs> the famous director and my friend. Yep. Great. I heard from oh. Mr. Vandepure over there that you were nowhere to be found. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't I say I was at the cafe? Yeah, you did. You did. But no one's corroborating that. The director that. needed you for some filming, and he couldn't find you. What were you doing that was so important? Well, let's see. After I ate, I had to walk around the swamp. I didn't have my camera, so I was free to stretch my legs for once. Where was your camera? Don't you carry it around with you all the time? No, not all the time. You left it with, with Vandapir and he used it instead. You left it with Vandapir and he used it instead that night. That's right, he was looking after that camera. So I went for a late night stroll. This place is beautiful in the evenings. You just walked around? You didn't do anything? Didn't see anyone? Well, I can't say that. I have various ways to pass the time, you know. Um. Vandapir said, said you had a hobby on the side. Is that what he hobby said? on the side? Oh, a yes, hobby on right. the side. I brought two cameras with me when I came here. <gasps> I left my video camera, yes. yes. But I have another one. It's much smaller. And it only takes black and white photographs. You know the kind I mean? A yeah. really old one? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. I've always enjoyed traditional photography. And this place is a wonderful opportunity to take some pictures of the natural environment. So, you were having some time off to take oh, black and white photographs? It was for fun. Only one photograph. You have to be disciplined when you're not using a digital camera. Can I see it? Of course. I took it near the woods at the back of the swamp. It's quite an interesting shot, but the light qualities weren't perfect. Here we are. Uh, feel free to take a look. Wait, what? This is a photo? Have you never seen a Polaroid grimoire? You have to shake it, shake it, shake it! Hmm? I haven't just brushed the developing fluid over the photo. Oh, I love stuff like this. 
Hi, Swampy! What? Is that... is that Boggy? The, the swamp creature just standing in the water? It could be. Personally, I'm not convinced, but I'll let you decide for yourself. Danke. A blurry photograph taken by Bobby Burble shortly before the murder shows something that looks like Boggy in the swamp at the back of the swamp. In the woods at the back of the swamps. The bean in the photo seems to have long legs. Okay. We'll come back because we have some more question marks to fill in, but we have to talk to more people, I'm guessing. Hi. We're going to challenge you. I heard this isn't the first time you've tried to film here. Where? In the, in the swamp? What are you talking about? Yakuz! Just kidding. Um. Uh, Remington has denied you. Has denied you the filming permission in the past. Oh, that. Yep. Nothing but the natural process of being in a profession like mine. No. Every situation simply requires the right approach before approach. the gears start turning smooth. Sure. You understand, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Why did did not want you filming here? And why did he change his mind? It wasn't even up to him. This area is protected, you know. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. Are they protecting the pond stuff? It's a little suspicious. It is why suspicious. would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. I wonder how that happened. Time to use my notebook. Just drag an item onto the paper to draw the idea. Um... I'm, I'm, I want to say money. Right. That's the one. I think you bribed Remington. I was going to say violence, violence, but this guy's not very tough. Well, bribe is a strong word. It bribe is a strong arrangement word. Between friends. Mm -hmm. Nothing worth getting upset about. Mm -hmm. I simply promised him a cut of my next movie's profits. Mm -hmm. It made sense, since he owned the area anyway. Just a favor for a favor. Wow. So have owed him money. Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. And not for a long time, either. Definitely not a bribe. Alright, both y'all are sketchy as heck. We're gonna keep going this way. Ooh, a museum. I a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. Alright. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. Oh, hey. Like the ones on the crossing. I don't think it's a window. This side... Okay. That's the logo for Boggy Spog. Yep. So I'm guessing this. I hope they don't charge an interest fee. I think you get a pass, buddy. That museum is quite a nice building, which makes it look even more out of place in the swamp. Is it being held up in wooden supports? It's bizarre. That's for the floods, right? And that museum is. And that museum is. Okay, now I need to see the clues. Um. I keep doing this wrong. It's notes, not the clues. Half. Okay, so there's no more in here, which means hopefully I can. I miss passageways. Oof. The door's jammed unless I can get these brass handles on it. Seems like I can rotate them over just until the gap in the middle is clear. Ah, another one of these puzzles. I net. I do never tire of this, darling. You're going to have to try a little bit harder. That top hat guy was so. Is that supposed to be Sherlock Holmes? Mm. Wow. Boggy! You look like a frog. Hmm. It's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. Good. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. Evidence. Okay, so journal recorded 60 years ago by the explorer who first visited the swamp. The only record of Boggy existing contains notes. And sketches on the same appearance of the swamp creature. Boggy is shown with three small claws on each arm. Um, Boggy's feet are always hidden in the water. There seems to be a page ripped from the back. Um, okay. Cool. Plaque. Let's see. This Who was the explorer? Who first discovered, discovered Boggy Stone in the swamp, swamp 60, 60 years, years ago? Okay, who's roughly 60 years old? Models of Boggy's claws. Hold on. What's this? Something doesn't seem right here. I think I should try arranging these models into pairs. Something seems out of place. Arrange them into pairs? Okay. So those are pairs, those are pairs. Hmm. 
What am I supposed to be doing? What? I don't think these gloves are part of the exhibit. It looks like someone tried to hide them here. Oh, I get it. Okay. Because one of them was super not detailed and the rest of them were detailed. Got it. Well, like I said, part of a costume. Let's so, talk to the nerd. Hi, nerd. I guess you don't work here, do you? No. I wonder if it makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, detective. I oh am no tourist. How did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat? My no. sensitive, inquisitive manner? It no. was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the one. Right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? It's been a long day. I'm writing my diary, and it's been a long day. What's your so job? What do you do? Tell me now. Here. I am a scholar, an a academic. Scholar. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. Oh my. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun? <laughs> There's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Oh boy. Ah, what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? Yeah. The swamp creature. Yeah. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although. Come to think of it, oh, people oh. have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. Oh, I suggest you. And you've come to the right person. My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. Oh, good. So, you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. If you're in the mood for a little light reading, let me find it for you. Oh, yeah, this will do. Something for uh, beginners, at least. Information about Boggy collected by Agent Folder. Boggy's swamp became a protected area for reports of hunting. The area Boggy's experience has changed from the original sketches, in which he has three claws on each arm. The modern character has simple fin like arms instead to make him less threatening. No footprints were recorded in the journal, but some experts believe that information is out there somewhere. Okay, so to me that says Folder cannot be the killer. Um, because he's someone I feel like would care about, like, the historical accuracy of, of the thing. So, Mr. Folder. Agent! Agent Folder! Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, were you here yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here, in the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Oh my god. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key to every lock, detective. You be an oh, e. So you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... Once again, that clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking me out, so I don't let him. You just admitted to breaking the law. If everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. It's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I did. I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. So someone stole that from him. To Remington? Good luck, my friend. Wow. Um, okay. I'm really curious about what you have to say with these bullets. The real swamp creature had claws. Yeah. Three on each hand to be precise. That's what I thought. Why does the costume just have these pathetic fins instead? Um, what do you think about the him? Man was a fool. That's a fool. Are you asking about the cartoon character? Because I have no interest in such childish matters. No, I think I'm asking about the actual creature. What's the difference anyway? Everything. Yeah. Yeah. This person is of no interest to me whatsoever. I don't know how you know these people. If I cared about that person, I would know everything I need to know already. Great, thanks. 
Um, okay, what do you think about these Guess slippers? What? Nobody can know what Boggy's feet look like. It's his greatest secret. Huh, interesting. Um, what do you think about this? This file goes over some basic differences between the genuine creature and the cartoon character. Mm. It's nothing more than a basic overview, really. Great, thank you. Um, I've you never seen that before, and I never want to see it again. Fair enough. Let's get that. See ya. This journal book will first There's a little door in the wall here. I yeah, I bet you have the key, though. I wonder if we're gonna find your lockpick, buddy. Hey, right, beggar. Wow, just when I think there's not the enough. Path leading back toward the road is clear here. I can see my reflection. It's not bad. The road is clear. Here. I can not bad. Okay, I didn't know if it was gonna be like, oh yeah, it's working. The road is clear. Here. I can see not bad. Okay, so then I want to know the notes. Give me the notes. We're in the woods. There's another thing that's mysterious here. Okay. Uh. This staircase is a and this place. The water's I can not. The water I can not. I can not. It's like a little. Okay. Um. Do we have that? No, nope, that's not what I want. I want the notes on the woods, and then I still haven't found the the, the other things. I'm still kind of curious about how much of that's supposed to come right away and what can come later. Oh man. Treacherous. Um. I wouldn't be using this old rope bridge if I- I've seen the movies, I know what happens. Yep, me too buddy. Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Hey, we well, remember the music part. The lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. Heck yeah. Someone, well. Yeah, that's broken. It seems I can fix it with those three cards. But once they're on the right, I can move. You just want me to do more puzzles, it's fine. Just tell me you want more puzzles done. I can do that for you. Mm, nope, nope, that's overlapped. That's better. Blah, that's fantastic. So those can't go by each other. So that means it can only go here, which that one's not big enough to fit on there's that one. And it can go here, which it's not gonna be big enough for that one either. So I think my first means it's supposed to go here. That's not oh can it fit the way? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Hi, witch lady. Check out that sunlight beaming through. So should I brought your sunglasses? Yeah. There's a whole load of needles and wool on that shelf. Yep. Or should I say yarn? Yep. I just don't. What's this? The owner of this house seems to enjoy, though I'm not sure what else there is to do up here. Actually. Look at the swamp. Be one with the this swamp. This is like. An yep, it's an oven. It's a broiler. I'm indoors. Yep, it's great. I'm in a little blanket on a little bed in a it makes very little sense. Alright, let's talk. Nope, I wanna to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Hi! You just walked straight into my house, did you? Um Sorry, sorry I would have rung the bell, but you don't have one. Normally I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. But I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Do you get any attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. I wonder but why! I you're going to, are you? No, ma'am. No. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Waybridge. And I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. 
What? What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And I have absolutely nothing to do with him. Or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, anyone. I... I like numbers. 60 years, something like that. What have you been doing You're for an explorer. Time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. But I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Uh, wow. How do you do that? Chemistry. Hmm. Page from Waybrook's book of pressed flowers contains information about all the flowers in the swamp and where they grow. The green and red spices only grow around the side door of the museum and can't be found anywhere else. So the fact that we found on the pathway, kind of suspicious. I was asking about last night. to ask me about what happened last night. Yes, ma'am. How do you know? know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Tell me. That sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here. In my house, by myself. Mm -hmm. Wow. What else? That's it. Riveting. <laughs> Thanks. Just give me a minute to write all this down. Um. Okay, did you see anyone last night? Show it to someone who doesn't live in a tree. This is a 60-year-old journal. It was on display in a museum. I know what it is. I thought you might. You aren't gonna go further to explain? Okay, There's well. samples of flowers that grow in this area. Two of them you don't see very much anymore. And one of them only grows around the museum. Okay, I don't have anything for you. Let's leave. I'm gonna make like a tree and leaf. Leave you alone, lady. Cafe, famous. Predictably, a trash can. And I just can't resist taking a look inside. Every detective game. The glamorous life of a detective. Yep. My favorite part of the job. Oh, I bet there is. Oh, man, what a prize. Stinky, smelly garbage. Or something more sinister. See, it's a drawing of the app that we're collecting. Yeah, see, this is the boots that we've already got, the mitts we got, so we're just missing the head, it seems like. Yeah, and there's your dress pattern. Very fun. Are we really talking about a swamp creature here? The, um... Explain can explain what um, was doing last night. The costume design I found in the trash can explains what the Boggy character was doing last night. Uh Okay. See th these three are obviously no. The costume design I found in the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo was doing last night. Ooh, that's neat. Did the real creature show up last night? No. The costume design I found in the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo ever existed. Ooh, 
The costume design I brought with me disproves what the swamp creature was doing last night. What is that? Oops. I found the trash. The costume design I found in the trash can explains what the swamp creature was doing last night. I'm losing. Maybe there's another explanation for Bonga's appearance. The costume design I found in the trash can explains what the Bonga character was doing last night. I don't. The costume design. Ah, okay. Sorry, that one took me a stupid amount of time. My photo is showing me. My detective's intuition is kicking in. That black and white photograph. I'm not sure I'm looking at the real body here. And I think these designs are found in the trash can might be the answer. I'll ask around, see if anybody knows anything about this. Oh, and I should start looking for the costume itself. Dude, we've like already started. That, there'll be some pretty impressive evidence. Deadly Disguise. Well, we finished chapter two. I think this is a great time to stop and save that for next time. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!